Hi, I'm Billy Maddox, and I'm going to mess this up so that you don't have to. Hey, and welcome back to another Bookbinding Basics. Today we're going to do something a little different. It's called a two-hole multiple signature book, right? This is what I'm going to use. You're seeing that on screen. The paper itself is the cutoffs from what I used for the waffle notebook. So I figured, well, can I use this paper for something? It's a lot. So let's try it. So you see those strips of paper. Uh, I'm just going to fold them in half and make a book out of that. I've been holding on to this like Coca-Cola thing for a while because I wanted to make a notebook out of it, a book out of it. But like uh, I didn't really know when, how, why, what, whatever. So this is kind of perfect because it is the next step towards a full on hardcover case bound book because it's kind of the same principles but it's a little bit weird i've never done a two hole one um to me just as a concept it didn't seem like it was going to be as sturdy as it needed to be as like secure as it needed to be and we shall see how this goes but yeah that's what i'm using so first you know i folded all my pages i folded all my you know my signatures put them into signatures like you see there and uh, tried to figure out how I was going to do this cover. So I know that this is what I'm going to use, and I would like to kind of fold over. You see, that's the front end of the book, right? And I needed to somehow sort of mark this off so that I can score it and then fold it down, you know? So what I did was you know super like almost nasa accurately i put a little dash mark where it should be folded <laughs> that's all i did so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna release it from here and um you know because i essentially got my book block but let's uh let's deal with this cover first so there i have my markings oh and those that's what i'm gonna use for um my end my end papers um, yeah. <laughs> you see, those are my signatures. What are they, like seven? I don't know. Okay, okay, I think we all get the point. This is the book block. It gets to the get to the tutorial why am i i don't know why did i leave this in i don't know but yeah these are my end papers i guess that's why i left it in. <laughs> i wanted it to go with you know the sort of natural of the inside of the cardboard so i got this sort of natural e kind of uh um paper heavier stock paper for my end papers anyway so let's deal with this uh uh, cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the, you know, the sharp point of my bone folder, line this up, and then just score it, right? We, we don't want to cut through it. So you use something blunt like this. My bone folder, uh, bone folders are probably the best to do if you have it with a point. And that creates this nice little score line here, which is nice because you can't really see it from the front, but you definitely can see it here. And it makes for this fold, um, makes for a very easy fold. Fold it gently because the other side will crack on you. This is just from experience that I know. So if you just go gung-ho and fold it, um, you know, harshly, that sort of printed part will crack on you. So do it gently. Do it gently. Do it gently. <laughs> You're trying to kill time, right? Making a book over quarantine. So do it gently. Take your time. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I kept this Coca-Cola raspberry wrapper. Um, they're pretty good. It's not like amazing, but the, you know, they're pretty good. Uh, but for some reason, I guess since I bought it with my wife, it reminds me of my wife. So anyway, uh, yeah. So now I know, now that I've got my book block in there, I know that I'm going to have to trim down those little flaps that I just folded just so that it becomes a nice little... Um, you know, 90 degree fold and it's nice and tight up against the book block. So here I have all my hose. Holy oh, shit. Here I have all my ho holes. Oh my God. I don't have hose. Here I have all my holes. There's two on each a signature. 
uh, if you're wondering how you should um, uh, get your length of thread, I've always heard that you should do the length of your book here, how I'm how I'm very crudely measuring. I always give it a little extra and then count how many signatures you have. So I have seven signatures and two end papers. So that's nine. So I counted nine over and then usually I always give it like an extra, you know, thread is cheap. Um, so give yourself extra because it's going to be a headache if you don't. So anyway, you go in through the outside for your first here. We're stitching, right? You go in through the outside into the inside. Do not tie, do not put a knot at the end of this uh, thing. You're going to leave a little length there because you will have to tie a knot in just a second. So in through the outside, it gets sort of, um, and then out again through that second hole. And then you'll see that you have sort of a length of, of, of string that will will sort of stay in here, right? Those are your stitches. And you'll need that length there, that little tail, so that you can tie it off. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So from, now that you're outside again, now you're gonna go into your next signature. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> so you went, yeah. So now I'm going back in, but go in slightly off camera so people don't see what you're doing. Okay, now. <laughs> So go back in. So you're going to sort of zigzag. You're going to go out. You're going to go, you know, from the outside to the inside, back to the outside, and then you're at the bottom. And then from the outside to the inside, and then you're back at the top. You get it? So these two are now connected by that little loop that I'm pulling tight right there. You saw that? So those two signatures are quote unquote connected right now. I say quote unquote because you'll see in a second. Now we go back out, right? And go back out here and then with that little piece that you left sort of hanging out you're gonna tie those two signatures together right and that sort of connects that connects those first two signatures you, you get me you following me <laughs> so here we're gonna tie a knot right there a square knot, just a simple square knot. So you're gonna do that twice so that it, you know, it becomes a, a, a locked square knot, right? Is that, is that did, did I need to say that? I don't know, is a square knot a, a locked square knot? I don't know. <laughs> you see, they're sort of connected, but there's like a weird little gap in the middle because we haven't tied it off yet, right? So we're gonna do that now. So just a simple little square knot. And don't worry, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to sort of tighten everything up um, if you feel like it's a little loose. So do a square knot. See how that other end is already connected pretty tightly. So we're need to, we need to connect this end. So square knot there, do one, okay? And then you're gonna do another one so that it locks into place. But again, be, be oh, <laughs> do it off screen so that the people you're trying to show this to can't see it. That's how you should do it. <laughs> anyway, just do a square knot twice or just do a square knot. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. Just lock it, you know, do a knot. Just a regular knot. So now you're left with, um, now you're back on the outside. So you're going to go back into your next signature and you're going to continue this pattern right in through the outside through the inside back to the outside and then you grab your next signature so here i am coming back out to the outside and here is the part that is very reminiscent to a full-on case bound hardcover book is this loop so i put it in between two signatures you see that so i'm trying to catch that loop that connects the signatures so i'm back you see i'm back out so i'm trying to create this loop here right and that connects it that connects these two and it allows me to go back into another signature you see so you're gonna have a series of these loops so instead of a knot like we did on the first one because it's doesn't have anything to loop to we're now going to do these series of loops. I hope, I hope this makes sense, but try to follow along. So we're going to go back in. I think I think I show you one more time just so that it's clear. So we're going back in. 
and we'll go back you know we'll go back through the signature and then back out that other hole so this is a two hole usually it's like a five hole situation for a case bound so there's a little more structure to it but again you will see what i mean it's a little flippy floppy this two hole situation but it is effective so here's this loop again and the very important thing to note about this loop is that you want to take your needle and then go to your previous in between your previous signatures right you see in between your previous signatures from the top from the outside edge in through that loop and then you're going to create that loop again which allows you then to connect another signature you see so you're gonna you're gonna get a, a series of these little sort of chain loops you see it so that's all of my this is my last loop oh, actually i do this one wrong so yeah from the outside in you see from the outside of that loop in like that and then this one since it's the very last one i'm now going to go inside of that little loop that i created you see that because that creates a square knot you see see the square knot that creates a square knot right there and then just to secure it into place, I'm gonna do it one more time so that that square knot locks. See, right there. Just a happy little square knot, boom. Now you're secured. Your book block is now done. <laughs> you can um, trim off your excess. This is now all set together. Now, this is one thing that I don't like. Now, where I learned this, they say, go ahead and slap a cover on this now. I say, no, look how wiggly this is. Look at this. There's a lot of space in between and look at it. There's a lot of wiggly play. I don't like that because that wiggly play is gonna live in your book forever unless you secure it down somehow. So we'll get to that in a second. Now, I'm gonna address the cover. You see how it's sort of like matchbooks? Like it's the, the spine is like, a little too wide um, so I'm gonna trim down just the tiniest bit from each um, from each side just a teeny tiny bit so that they join up perfectly now we're gonna glue this one to the other so that we have an actual like cover also your your spine is now sort of double boarded um, so it you know it's nice and um, nice and thick so it's nice and secure it's thick Ooh, that spine thick yeah, <laughs> so it's now um, nice and reinforced, you see? And this is very simple, very, if you do a very thin um, coat of the PVA, since it's cardboard, it's very sort of porous and toothy, it sticks very quickly and very nicely. I'm just sort of patting it down so that all of my glue is like nice and spread through there. And then maybe just uh, do a little tent for a squirrel. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw this into my book press because we're gonna do some gluing and this is gonna secure the wiggliness of it. Now you see here, I've done my gluing. Doesn't look like it, but I have. I've also glued down the tails of my, of the excess of my thread. And look at this, now it's nice and secure. It's super sturdy, it feels really, there's no play to it. Um, it's good. So now we're gonna connect it to the actual cover. You see the cover now fits nice and perfectly. It's nice and straight. It's not doing that sort of match booking where the spine is is slightly uh, bigger than than the than the fore edge. So a little bit of glue down the spine, sort of coarsely, kind of uh, spread that out. You know, you want it to sort of uh, you know stick down. Nicely. I'm also going to put a line of glue on the cover, spread it out a little bit. Um, this one I'm going to try to, you know, spread it out nice and evenly and, and so that it, it uh, connects really nicely. The glue that I put on the actual book is just sort of extra glue. So here we go. I'm going to put it right there and connect that on. Now, uh, in, in, in these gluings, what I did was... Um, you know, either put some weights on them or, or put them in a book press if you got it, just lightly, just so that it doesn't move while it's drying, um, and it'll be fine. So now I'm gonna glue the end pages now, because look, you know, this doesn't look so nice, you know, this this cardboard side, so let's glue the end, uh, the end papers um, down. 
And we're gonna do that just by putting a little bit of glue. I got a little bit impatient, so I just did it with my finger. Uh, you'll see that in a second. I got impatient doing it with the with the brush. So I'm just gonna sort of do it with my finger like that. It's really nice and satisfying. Then you can do that thing where you take off glue from the from your fingertip, which is like always like satisfying and nice. So I would suggest doing it this way. You also get a really even coating <laughs> when you do it with your finger. So if you need to get in there with your finger, get in there with your finger. This isn't some sort of archival situation, so it's not no big deal. Um, tip here. You want to glue this end page down while your book is sort of open. You see how I have the, the book standing straight up? You don't want to sort of close the book and, and glue it down because then when you open it, it's not going to have that give. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Here is the California Raspberry Coca-Cola uh, two-hole multiple signature notebook book thing situation. Um... Yeah, <laughs> I left it with the uh, peaked um, pages just because you know, I, I kind of like to leave it like that. Sometimes I cut them dead straight, you know, um, but sometimes I leave them like this. Here's a little bit of a close up of what we've got going on here. And it's a nice little book and it's a really quick and easy way to do kind of a hardcover situation kind of book without all the extra holes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Roll the thing!